Security in Rails has become a hot topic recently due to a vulnerability found in GitHub which allowed a user to gain commit access to the Rails repository. Now I think the guys at GitHub did a remarkable job of dealing with this, but we can learn from it and make sure that we don't have the same mass assignment vulnerability in our own projects. First, let me show you how one might exploit this. Here I have a user profile page, and in this application I can edit this profile to change the user's information. Right now I can just change the user's name. Now we want to play the role of a hacker, so let's just change his name to hacker. And there we go, change the name successfully. Now notice that a user can become an admin, and currently this user is not marked as an admin. Now if you check out the database schema for this app, you can see that a user can be marked as an admin through a simple boolean column in the database. Now when the user edits their profile, there's no field in this form here for marking themselves as an admin, so we're safe, right? Wrong. Uh, the user can send anything they want to the server. So for example, here in uh, Safari, I could just go inspect element on this field here, and then I can change the name of this field to anything I want. So instead of editing the user's name, let's have this edit the user's admin attribute. And then I'll just submit one in this field to represent true, then update the user, and well, would you look at that? The user is now considered an admin. Whoops. So how is this possible? Well, the issue comes down to how the controller assigns attributes to the model. Here, if you check out the user's controller update action, which is what gets triggered when the form gets submitted, you can see that we're doing user.update attributes and just passing all of the user parameters to it. This is known as mass assignment. It's really convenient, but it means that the user can set any attributes on this model that they want. Now, there are many ways to protect yourself from this vulnerability. One option is to go into the model, in this case the user model, and add a call to attribute protected, and then specify which attributes you don't want to be able to set through mass assignment. In this case, it's the admin attribute. So this is basically a blacklist preventing those attributes from being set. So with that set, let's try editing this profile again and setting the field to say user admin. And then when we, uh, let's try setting it to zero this time and update user. Now we get this mass assignment security error which has been raised because we tried to set the admin attribute. So we successfully prevented that attack. So using attribute protected here worked so the user couldn't set the admin attribute. However, I don't recommend using attribute protected and that is because it is very easy to miss attributes that you should protect here. For example, user has many projects. So we have a many to one association here between user and projects. Now that has many association as an attribute to the model called project IDs. So we can try submitting a form with using this in the name instead. Now project IDs expects an array of uh, attributes passed in so we can add an empty square brackets at the end there to turn it into an array of parameters. So let's try submitting this and assigning the project with the ID of one to our user. Wow, so if you look at this, you can see that this hacker now has one project that used to be assigned to another user. So he's successfully taken over control of someone else's project. So the key here is never use attribute protected because it's far too easy to miss certain attributes. Instead, you should always use this other method called attribute accessible, which behaves like a whitelist. So you're specifying here which attributes you want to be able to set through mass assignment. So setting this here means we're safe from the user changing the admin attribute or the project IDs or any other attribute in the user model. So this means you should go through all of your models that you set through mass assignment and make sure to have an attribute accessible call on each one. For example, we would need to add it to our project model as well. But it's easy to forget to do this every time we make a new model. So it would be nice if there was some way to always ensure that we set attribute accessible on every model. And there is. If you check out the application config file in recent versions of Rails, you'll see this commented out setting for active record whitelist attributes. You can just comment this out or add it if it's not there. Just set it to true and then that will protect you from the mass assignment vulnerability. So after changing that setting and restarting my Rails app, that means that any model that does not have an attribute accessible call will not be able to use mass assignment. So if I try creating a new project here, for example, that means I get this mass assignment security error that I got before because I'm not able to do mass assignment on that name attribute. 
To fix this, we can just go into the project model, add that attribute accessible call, so we can set the name attribute through mass assignment, and there we go. So you'll want to test your application thoroughly after changing that mass assignment setting to make sure that it all works correctly. Now there is another configuration option related to this in recent versions of Rails. If you check out the development config file, you can see that there's an option here called mass assignment sanitizer, and it's set to strict. So this means it's going to raise an exception when mass assignment fails. In earlier versions of Rails, it would just ignore it silently, so those issues were hard to debug. Now it's also set in the test environment by default, but not in the production environment, so it will just ignore it there, which is likely the behavior that you want. It'll still do the, still do the mass assignment protection, but not raise an exception if there's an error. Now one common question is, how would you make attribute accessible dynamic depending upon the current user? For example, maybe I do want to allow the admin attribute to be set through the form, but only if the current user is an admin. Well, I covered that in episode 239, so if you're interested in that, check out that episode. Well, that's it for this episode on using attribute accessible to protect from the mass assignment vulnerability. Thanks for watching.